Mountains on a residential street in Bayport. The pilot and passenger hurt in the wreck, but police say it could have been much worse. CBS 2's Magdalena Doris has more from Stony Brook University Hospital this morning. Magdalena? Good morning, Chris and Mary. The pilot and passenger were airlifted here to Stony Brook University Hospital. They are alive but injured, and police say it is miraculous that they got out. It's a small plane, and everybody is on fire. The plane is on fire. Sunday night, a single-engine Piper 28 plane came crashing to the ground in Bayport, Long Island, near 2nd Street and 3rd Avenue, narrowly missing homes, parked cars, and startled witnesses. I was looking out my window, and it stalled. He turned around to come back in, and he went down. He hit the uh, first pole, twisted around, landed, and went on fire and stuff. The plane carrying a pilot and one passenger took off, headed for upstate New York from Bayport Aerodome at around 7 p.m. Sunday. After gaining altitude, they quickly experienced engine trouble. The pilot attempted to turn back, but never made it. The small plane falling from the sky, breaking through branches, clipping a utility pole, catching fire on impact. We were in our house, and we heard a big crash. I looked out the window and saw a big, dark cloud of smoke rise into the air. It was kind of short, didn't didn't linger. Both the pilot and passenger were rescued by Bayport volunteer firefighters who live in the area and rushed over to help. They're trying to get the pilot out. It's a small plane on fire. The victims were airlifted to Stony Brook University Hospital. The fact that right now uh, both occupants of the plane are, are alive is also nothing short of a miracle. Police say the pilot, 35 year old Scott Clifford, has two broken legs and head injuries. The passenger, 65 year old Mike Rome of Orange County, New York, sustained a head injury in this crash. The pilot and passenger were the only two people injured in this crash. Amazingly, no one on the ground was hurt, and there was no damage done to any homes. Live in the Stony Brook section of Long Island, Magdalena Doris, CBS 2 News. Magdalena.